Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 8th. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about Ehang type certification progress as reported by Chinese media. First, about today's Ehang Weibo post. Here is the Ehang post today. The post says. Autumn is here, let's say goodbye to the hot summer with a two-way run. According to the lunar year calendar, the autumn has started. The hot summer is gone and the cooler autumn may be more attractive for air tourism flight and scenic view. Next, about Ehang to report second quarter 2022 unaudited financial results on Thursday, August 18, 2022. Today, August 8, 2022, Ehang announced that it will release its unaudited financial results for the second quarter ended June 30, 2022 on Thursday, August 18, 2022, before the U.S. market opens. Ehang's management team will host an earnings conference call at 8 a.m. on Thursday, August 18, 2022, U.S. Eastern Time. Next about China State Media reporting major breakthroughs in airworthiness certification for that COMAC C919 and Ehang 216. COMAC C919 and Ehang 216 completing major breakthrough in airworthiness certification. Reported August 18 by state media. The coming airworthiness certificates for COMAC C919 and Ehang 216 are expected to big historical events for China's civil aviation industry, and the state media such as China Daily and China Net has specially reported the progress of the certification. First, let's see the specifics and significance of COMAC C919 certification. The COMAC C919 is a narrow-body airliner developed by Chinese aircraft manufacturer COMAC. The aircraft is to be able to carry 156 to 168 passengers in a normal operating configuration up to 5,555 kilometers. The development program was launched in 2008. Production of the prototype began in December 2011, with the first prototype being ready on November 2, 2015 and having its maiden flight on May 5, 2017. It is reported by the media, COMAC announced on August 1 that the domestic large aircraft C919 has completed the certification test flight. This means that seven years after the final assembly rolls off the assembly line, the commercial operation of domestic large aircraft has entered a critical step. In February this year, Ehang 216 EVTOL for the low-altitude economy around the urban air mobility industry has made a major breakthrough with CAAC approval and issuance of special conditions for Ehang EH-216S unmanned aircraft system, hereinafter referred to as special conditions. This means that whether it is a large civil aviation at a high altitude or a new civil aviation at a low altitude, China has entered the development of the fast flight path in the world on the road of aviation technology innovation. Whether it is COMAC C919 or EH-216, Behind it are the ambitions and obscure efforts of Chinese science and technology workers to make China become a powerful aviation country. Next, about C919 versus EH216 type certification and timeframe comparison. COMAC C919. Traditional aircraft and certification standards. The development program for the aircraft was launched in 2008. First test flight, in 2017. Certification flight, in 2022. On August 1, it was reported that the large aircraft C919 has completed the certification test flight. TC expected, soon, the time frame is unspecified yet, may be in 2022 or in 2023. Ehang 216. Autonomous EVTOL and new certification standards. Like COMAC C919, Ehang EH216 has China's complete independent intellectual property rights, but the difference is that the TC certification of EH216S is an innovative project. Traditional aircraft already have mature and appropriate airworthiness regulations to meet their airworthiness certification needs. But due to the unique and innovative design features of EH216S, there was a lack of applicable airworthiness regulations before. Ehang was established in 2014. First test flight for EH216 in 2018. So far, the test flight total is close to 30,000. TC expected, within 2022. It is noted, in terms of aircraft development, C919 took much longer time to develop, about 9 years from the program launch to the first test flight, compared with EH216's approximate 4 years from the company establishment to the first test flight. 
In terms of aircraft type certification, the time frames between the two are close to each other. The Comac C919 first test flight for was in 2017, and the Ehang 216 first flight was about one year later in 2018. TC for C919 is expected soon and TC for EH216 is expected to be within 2022, this year. Next about EH216 type certification progress reported by the state media. EH216 type certification project has basically completed preliminary review stage. Ehang has reached relatively consistent opinions with CAAC on the basis of type certification. The project review content has been basically confirmed. Next. The follow-up will proceed step by step into. The test prototype production. Verification test flight, and others. The final certification is expected within this year. Next, about quotes from Ehang as reported by the media. With regards to type certification and regulation formulation, Ehang always adheres to the attitude of bold innovation, careful analysis and careful verification, and jointly formulates industry standards and industry regulations with the Civil Aviation Administration of China, and contributes to the formulation of relevant standards in areas such as autonomous aerial vehicles, command and dispatch systems, etc. Hu Huaji, Founder, Chairman and CEO of Ehang. With regards to type certification progress. Completing the airworthiness process is the only way to further improve the safety of the product. We are full of confidence in the airworthiness certification of the EH216, yes. Although affected by the domestic pandemic, the progress of the TC approval of EH216, yes has been delayed, but the heaviest work has been handled almost. Next, we will accelerate the progress of various processes, use the practical experience of technical exploration to feedback airworthiness certification, and strive to complete the exam as soon as possible and graduate smoothly. Hu Huaji, Founder, Chairman and CEO of Ehang. It is good to see Ehang's CEO's confidence in contributing to the formulation of the standards and obtaining the type certification. It is also good to see the state media's emphasis on the great significance of Ehang 216 certification along with Comac C919. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.